I'm going to try again because I ran out of video last time, so I need to stop waffling. And if Sirius comes in, he's on the windowsill next to. No, he's jumped past. Right, um, a question answers on surrogacy, as the title suggests. Um, I'm going to try and do it as you know, thoroughly but as quickly as I can. Um, some of them from Kedius1983. I'm sorry if I've said your username wrong. I suck at trying to figure out how to announce, uh, you know, pronounce them. Uh, wanting to know what really happens sort of after the birth. Now, this is all very dependent on if I get the home water birth that I would like. If I end up up in hospital, if I end up in hospital, why am I in hospital? Like any complications, or if they just won't let me have a home birth? What time of day the baby's born? I mean, this is all sort of up in the air. So I'll answer it as best as I can, but obviously I won't know until it actually happens. Um, do the IPZ straight away? No. If we get the home water birth, hopefully have baby, they'll have cuddles, I'll go get cleaned up, and then, sorry, rubbing my, I'm not rubbing my nose, where my cat was um, in front of me a second ago, there's all these stray hairs in the air, and they keep attacking my face, I swear. Attracted to my skin. Sorry, random, I said I wouldn't do that, and I did. Ah. Um, Hopefully, yeah, I'll get cleaned up, come downstairs, have a cup of tea, chat, I'll meet the baby. Um, all the men folk can empty the birthing pool. I get to lay down and do the whole, I've just given birth, I'm so tired, uh, thing. And then they'll pootle off with their baby, and the next day they can go and take the baby to their local hospital to get the paediatrician to check over him or her, and make sure everything's fine, and go with that. And there's, there's cat hair in the air, I can feel it landing on me. I love my boy, I do, but you know, he molts, bless him. Where it's actually hot for the first time in what, 70,000 years in England. Um, then it's, uh, will you breastfeed? No. No, no, no. Breastfeeding's hard. My children are upstairs. Sorry about the racket. Daddy's with them. I've not abandoned them. Um, breastfeeding's hard. It's sore. It's uncomfortable. It doesn't matter how good you are at latching. It doesn't matter how many babies you breastfed. It's, it's hard and it's sore. And it's sort of a bonding thing. And I don't really want to. Um, I swear I heard just one in my eye. Um, I don't really want to put myself through that unless I have to, but I will express. Um, I'm not very good at expressing. I usually get half an ounce, two maximum after ages of pumping. But I'm hoping my, because I usually breastfeed, like breastfeed them, um, that if I start pumping on a regular thing that they'll, you know, my boobs will get used to it and produce. Uh, hopefully get one of those Medela pumping styles or something so I can do both at once. All the IPs at the birth. Now will be at the birth, hopefully. But George's labour was six and a half hours, Alice's was four hours, 16 minutes, and Alice's was an hour. 23 minutes, according to my note. From the minute I thought, oh, I might be going into la to labour, the longest it would have been is two hours. So if we follow this pattern, it's gonna be one hour or half an hour. I don't know whether it counts as Edith's labour being two hours or one hour. But um, yeah, I'm slightly concerned that it's going to be like one hour or less. And they live about an hour away. So the second I get a weird feeling, if I really think that's going to be it, then yeah, they're going to have to get in the car and drive like the wind without killing themselves or breaking any laws. But hopefully, yes, they will be at the birth. <laughs> uh, why do you want to be a surrogate? I get asked, like, what made you want to be one? Well, I don't know. I've mentioned this before, I don't know. Um, as I said, I think in another video or in a post somewhere written, I, I don't know, I lose track because it's asked in a lot of different ways in a lot of places and I've answered it a fair few times. Um, for me, I know a lot of people who have issues with fertility. Uh, being part of the YouTube community has introduced me to a whole lot more people, but I've always known a few and I thought, well, what's the point in feeling sorry for people? You know. That's, I get it, I get the support is ridiculously brilliant, but for a while when I thought I might have issues I was heartbroken and if it was me I would wish that someone would be willing to have a baby for me, be it because I was in a same sex relationship and I was a male, or because I couldn't carry one or because I couldn't have one for whatever reason. I would really, I love kids and I feel like my purpose was to be a mother and I think that that wouldn't change even if I wasn't able to do it and in which case I would pray to God that someone would do this for me and I can do it so you know why not be proactive and don't sit there and go oh I'm really really sorry for you actually do something I can have kids I can usually fall pregnant quite quickly look at my two girls they were straight away I have relatively quick labours I haven't had any major problems I mean yes it could go wrong but I can't just not do something because there's a risk to it you just it's just something I want to do. It feels like something I need to do. Um, and then it leads to the next one. How many times do you want to be a surrogate? I will try it the once and we'll see how it goes. It's something I, as I said, I feel like I need to do to complete my life. Like it's a purpose for me. I don't know why. It's weird to explain. Um, 
but I would quite like to do it three or four times. I think that's the idea. I mean, I'll do it once to start with, but I'd quite like to have one for David Morris, go and um, maybe match again with another couple, have a baby for them, go back with David Morris and have a sibling, so do a sibling project, and maybe the people I did in between would want a sibling project as well, which would be cool. I'd make four babies and complete two families, so I think that would be really, really nice. But I don't like being pregnant, labour hurts, and, you know, my body's already pretty buggered. So maybe one will do. We're, only time will tell on that one. Um, this is one someone said, I'm really embarrassed to ask this, but I want to know, will you and your husband still be having sex? Not when I'm trying. As I said before, you don't do anything. I'm never in a million years risk the baby not being my IPs. But whilst I'm pregnant, if I fancy it, there's nothing, unless told medically not to, then yes, you, you and your husband carry on. It doesn't matter. I mean, obviously the idea of it being someone else's baby is a little bit weird, but you're not going to touch it. Well, my husband isn't going to touch it either which way. So, you know, not really a problem. Um, do you think it will make you want more children? Maybe, but we're pretty all right uh, with the the setup that we've got we love the children obviously that we've got I would love more but financially you'd be pushing it I mean I want to be able to pay for my kids to go on all the school trips and have the nice things and new lunch boxes every year and go to college or university or anything that they want to do and if you've got if we have any more children there's a risk that they're not going to be able to without it being really tight I mean I want my children to have a few wants as well as needs she says the woman whose children have got fourth generation iPod touches um not necessarily the wisest thing my husband's done, but, you know, he tries. Uh, but, yeah, I'd like, I like being able to spoil my kids every now and then without them being spoiled, if you know what I mean. I want to be able to give them all the nice things, and for that reason alone, I think we're, we're done. But, yeah, maybe having a surrogate baby will kick the broody up to a ridiculous level, but I don't think so. I mean, I think it's going to kick it up, but not enough to make me have another one. But we shall see. I would love one. If if we were in a better financial position, then you bet your ass there will be more babies here. At least one, if not two or three. One or three. Yeah, I think I'd like four or six. Yes, we like even numbers. Sorry, one of my babies here, I say stupid things, I pull stupid faces, and I speak in stupid voices. You don't do that. You don't do that. I don't even do that with my kids. Um, but look. Come on, look at this baby. Look at my baby. I love him. Yeah, we got him before we got married. Haven't we? We got you before we got married, and I've been married for nine years this year. Ah, I'm too young. I'm too young. I'm serious. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. And if you have any other questions, please, please do let me know, and I will do my best to answer them via video or comments or Facebook or PMs or whatever. That's absolutely fine. And I will see you later. So, bye, Cyril. He was like, I'm a cat, you freaking idiot. I said freaking before anyone starts going, oh my god, she's hot. I didn't swear as well. I do swear, but I didn't swear as well. Okay, bye.